Is a challenge looming in your riding career, like taking the plunge to enter your first race, or what about that riding adventure you've always dreamed of? Maybe you've had a big crash and now you need to bounce back. Well, this video is going to give you the tools to build that confidence to make things happen. It's rammed with advice and insights to help you make the things you're dreaming of a reality. Time to turn your I'd like to into I'm going to. The way to do that is start doing some groundwork. If this is an event or an adventure trip, then when is it? Book the hotel or the flight. Put the dates in the diary that mean something. Those dates themselves will start scheduling the training or the preparation you need to do. Suddenly you'll have a timeline to work to and that important sense of reality, putting what needs to be done into perspective. Setting goals also means you stop chasing 20 wishes and focusing in on what's important to complete the task at hand. Contrary to what you'd expect, a schedule will relieve pressure and reassure you that you're on the right path. Peer pressure out on the trail can lead to disaster. There's nothing more convincing than a crowd of your mates cheering you on to a jump or a drop you've got no business attempting. However, the energy behind peer pressure can be skillfully used to your own advantage. It needs a bit of groundwork first, but once the planning is in place, peer pressure can be your friend. Whatever the goal, the commitment needs to be there first. And that means the groundwork of planning and a bit of momentum. Once you're at that point, then you can start using your mates' questions, their little jibes, and that expectation to drive you towards the goal. If that commitment isn't there, then you're causing unnecessary pressure in your own life. But if you've really made that internal decision to make that special something happen, then start telling your friends, use your social followers, anyone who will listen for that matter. In doing so, you'll be creating an army of friends who will be unwittingly supporting your effort. Of course, most friends will be genuinely cheering you on. Um, they want your success. However, we all know friends can also be the very people you're competing against and who can make you suffer when you fail. Each question about your progress, each little jibe, your doubting remarks that come in from those friends, they'll drive you on in an effort to prove them wrong. Being brave enough to call yourself out ignites that fuel called peer pressure and it's potent enough to make these things you've shied away from really happen. Short on ideas, short on confidence, unsure where to start. Okay, it's time to use the hive mind of mountain biking. Riding with people who are above and beyond your skill and experience level could be priceless. You will see skills in use that you want. These riders will also talk enthusiastically about places you dream of riding, events you yearn to take part in. The spirit of the sport rests in all these people who have ventured a bit further than you, but that has no bearing on when or where your riding will take you. And don't be thinking this is a hidden route into the secrets of mountain biking dark arts. This is just how everyone does it. Get involved with your local riding crew, pop in for a chat at your local independent dealer. Get online and start chatting. I mean now too, like in the comments down below this video. Ask a question and one of these lot watching along with you will probably know the answer and not only that, they will answer. This is a trick I used all the time when I first started out, basically covering the walls with prints of the action I'd like to emulate. You won't believe how much impact this can have. The reason it works is because the more you keep a particular riding skill in mind, the more likely you are to replicate it out on the trail. Skills really become useful when they're second nature, so it makes sense to give your imagination every bit of help it can get. So if you want to learn to whip, Print off 10 pictures from the internet of the best whips you can find, stick them up on your wall and let them be the things you see before you go to bed and the first thing you see when you get up. 
Maybe try a digital app like Pinterest, search mountain bike cornering skills on Pinterest and see a well of images and links that appear below the first post you discover. In two seconds, you've opened a portal into the realm of what you want to visit. Using an app like this will also have the added benefit of notifications that alert you and importantly remind you. Peer pressure from your phone. So you may find identifying your strengths difficult, but if the thing in question is something you're wishing for rather than actively doing, then I'd say you don't have what's necessary to make it happen. And that will put it on the weaknesses side of the chalkboard. If you're actively trying this thing, or it's scheduled into your life, you've booked your place and told your friends, then I'd say you've put the legs under that thing with the sort of strength that will likely end up in a good result, so go for it. There we are, I hope that was useful. Uh, why don't you stay with us here on GMBN now? Um, you can click just here to see 10 upgrades for 100 pound or less. That's a brilliant video and could inspire you to get your new bit for your bike. Hey, click on the globe to subscribe and if you give me a thumbs up like, I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.